Now if write output is used to write your script's intended output, and if write host is something that well, you should pretty much stay away from, what else have you got to work with? Hit command verb write. Let's ask PowerShell. So if you want your script to display step-by-step -step progress information, you know, I'm, I'm connecting to such and such a computer, I'm about to do this, I'm about to do that, write verbose is the way to go. If you need to display debugging information, trace code, things like here's the contents of a variable, write debug. If you need to display warning, write warning. You can even display sort of graphical-ish progress bars using write progress. Now some of these can be a bit tricky to use. Uh, write verbose, about to connect. Now that's certainly the, the type of step-by-step -step information that write verbose is intended to produce, but it doesn't seem to have a. Here's a trick. By default, output from write debug and write verbose are suppressed. Now, if I had put that command into a script and I ran that script, let's say it was called script, and I added the verbose switch or the debug switch, that would automatically enable write verbose and write debug. So the neat part about using those commands is that you can get that step-by-step -step information when you want it simply by specifying dash verbose and when you don't want it, you can turn it off and your script's normal output, which you create with write output, will still come through. Now there's another way to turn these on. If you look at the variable drive, you'll notice several preference variables like debug preference and verbose preference. They're set to silently continue by default. When you run a script with dash verbose, it temporarily changes the verbose preference to just continue. And that is what enables the verbose output. And we can also do that manually. Verbose preference equals continue. Now my write verbose will display its output. And when I'm finished using that, I'll just change it back to silently continue. And that will once again suppress the output. So the write command for the write output can really give you a lot of additional flexibility.